We've been previewing the 2024 college football season here on Midwest Sportsnet, but today we're going to skip ahead to 2025 for just a bit as we get to visit with the new head coach for the Rio Grande Red Storm, Coach Quincy Wilson, who will be heading into his first season as the head coach in 2025. Applause for that already, Coach. I think that's uh, <laughs> just really good timing right there. But yeah, there you go. Line, as they say, script it. There we go. <laughs> Exactly. On August, or excuse me, on April 23rd, it was announced that the Red Storm was going to be reviving a football program that had been dormant for about 75 years. And on June 11th, it was announced that you would be the first coach in the new era of the program. So with that applause and, and everything else, Coach, congratulations on the new gig. Talk about Thank it just you. a little bit, how you feel. Thank you, man. It's uh, It's been a whirlwind. I can't believe I've been on the job actually for a month. You know, trying to get, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously, you know, staff hired and, you know, getting the lay of the land, obviously my first time to Southeast Ohio. Uh, so, you know, as you know, the particulars were moving and all that good stuff. So it, it's been a whirlwind, but I work with some amazing people. Uh, President Smith and our AD Jeff Lanning are great, uh, great men. And we have some great leadership here at the university. Well, again, congratulations on that. The big news this week, though, continuing to talk about football is the fact that Rio Grande has been accepted into the Appalachian yeah, Athletic yeah. Conference for football. So talk about what that means, a big opportunity for a new program. Well, you know, you 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 reach out to different conferences and obviously, you know, there's nothing guaranteed. So, you know, us actually, you know, being able to be accepted you know, on uh, N25 <laughs> is amazing. Uh, it's going to help for scheduling. You know, we now we have seven built-in games there. So uh, we got there. Uh, we got some natural rivalries already. Kentucky Christian's probably about an hour away and uh, and look forward to competing against the rest, rest of the teams there in the conference. Most recently, the running backs coach, tight ends coach at Fairmont State, and, and you've had some other stops along the way. I talk about what it takes and, and what you've been doing preparing yourself for this head coaching opportunity. Well, you know, I think as a coach, you always think about, you know, what would you do if you were in the head seat? You know, if I was a head coach, I would do this or I would do that. You know, you kind of always kind of preparing yourself, you know, as this. So, I've, like you said, I've been in the coaching realm for 13 years, and, and that's what I've been doing. You know, I've been fortunate enough to be with some great head coaches, uh, you know, work, excuse me, work with some great head coaches, and I'm always picking their brain, and I've always been curious about what it takes, you know, to sit in that head seat. So, you know, to actually, you know, be a head coach, you know, it's humbling. But, you know, but it also comes with a lot of responsibilities. And, and I know the biggest thing that I've learned from everybody is, you know, your communication, you know, your communication between you and the administration, your, you know, your parents, you know, your alumni, you know, all that stuff. So making sure that communication is great, but also making sure you bring in quality kids and quality coaches. And I think, you know, our program is going to be known for the people. You know, when someone comes to visit us or someone comes to, you know, see us, I want them to leave saying, you know what? That is an amazing coach. That is an amazing staff. And those are amazing players that I just met. Absolutely. We're visiting now with Coach Quincy Wilson from Rio Grande. The Red Storm reviving a program that has been dormant since 1949. And, mm -hmm. Coach, one of the stories is uh, the fact that in, in 1950, the university took the football equipment from the program that had been there before, sold it to buy basketball uniforms, <laughs> and among the players on that team was one Bevo Francis. Now, folks, if oh, you're yes. not familiar with the name Bevo Francis, look it up. The Small College Basketball Award now for a player of the year is named for Bevo Francis. Coach, what yeah, yeah, yeah. you learned yeah, yeah. about the athletic yeah. department? Yeah, I mean, Bevo, I mean, if you've ever been to our campus, <laughs> you cannot miss him everywhere. I think we set we still hold the record for most points scored in a game. So to be a part of that new that tradition that's been here a long time, it's really exciting. And now I hope to get that, uh, as they say, the football side of that, that uh, tradition going. Okay, you all are going to be playing at least the yeah. first season at Alumni Stadium in Jackson, which is just down the road. It's about 20 miles from campus. Uh, what are the plans for uh, for a home stadium? Are there plans in the works, and and what's going into that as well? Yeah, the yeah. So the initial, yeah. There's the initial talks. Obviously, you know, we're in the in the infant stages of this. Uh, so you know, obviously, the plan is actually the first two years to play at Jackson. Uh, but our plans for our dorm are already uh, in there. New new facilities for dorms are already been built. Uh, new field house coming. Uh, new rec center and weight room coming. So uh, we are definitely set up for success. And I am uh, extremely excited to uh, to get some kids on campus this fall. Obviously, you know, fill up the rest of the roster in December and uh, get ready for uh, spring practice and uh, winter conditioning here in January. 
Coach, there's a lot of activity going on around you right now. Tell us really quickly where you are. Yeah, so I got the uh, fortune enough to coach uh, a youth camp this week with uh, Jonathan Allen, uh, one of our all pro uh, D linemen here uh, with the Washington Commanders. Uh, great opportunity, uh, you know, obviously as a college coach, you know, coaching middle school kids, you know, there's no restrictions, you know, <laughs> so you don't worry about no recruiting violations and that stuff. It's just pure football and, you know, kind of planting that seed, you know, kind of planting that, uh, um, as they say, uh, you know, as you guys go into high school, you know, remember Coach Wilson and all that kind of stuff. So it's a great camp. Uh, we've been here since Tuesday. Uh, it's been a long week, but a great week. And I uh, got a chance to uh, meet a lot of great young men here in the uh, 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 D.C. area. Well, as we wrap up our time, Coach, uh, again, thanks for, for sharing with us today here on Midwest Sportsnet. There's so much to do. For, for you to get a program ready in just more than a year for full competition. But again, that big news from the AAC, that that's huge. And I think you mentioned it. As you look ahead, are there any dates that are circled for you? Obviously, schedule not made yet for 25. Right. But, but uh, what, what are some milestones along the way as you're trying to get things ready? Well, uh, if you if you if you hold me to the uh, fire here, if you say the hundred day plan, as they say, uh, we are hitting all our benchmarks. So obviously, you know, my staff was the number one thing to get get done. It got those uh, young men in the building and uh, ready to uh, get started with those guys here on Monday. Um, we are uh, just had a youth camp last week. I had over seventy participants for that, so I was extremely excited about that because that's kind of the first uh, exposure they have to our program and our first ever camp. So you know, that was the inaugural inaugural thing there. So we hit that benchmark. Obviously, as we get forward into August, you know, we would like to get some kids on campus. Already have some guys committed to the program. So uh, the excitement of having a a new program, you know, we've been able to capitalize on that on that uh, uh, as you say uh, momentum. So uh, we're excited about that. And also, you know, being here in Ohio is, is not there's plenty of good football players in this state. So, we know, we won't have trouble filling the roster you know, as the months go. But like I said, the 100 day plan, uh, we're hitting all our benchmarks, uh, getting excited. We start school here on the 19th of August. So, uh, you know, I think it, uh, we're a month away from uh, starting school. So uh, time flies. Always, obviously, everyone can't wait for the summer, but then you can't wait to get in, into camp. So obviously uh, we won't be playing this year, but we still will be having football activities. So. Uh, it won't be the traditional camp, but we'll still be ha we'll still have traditional football. So I am extremely excited. Uh, like I said, coaching these camps just really gets the juices going, and I can't wait to get our own kids in the building. Well, congratulations again, Coach, and, and obviously so much still for you to do, so we want you to, to, to get after that here. And we're thankful for the time you gave us today. We will continue to follow along and Thank look you. forward to getting Thank to you. visit with you at a time or two more yeah, before. Yeah, you know what, like I said, we what? get a kind of a, a sneak preview of everybody this year, so we kind of get to sit back and watch you know, watch these guys here. Obviously, Ryan Hart has been a very, very strong program you know, in our conference, and you know, obviously Pikeville and Union, I've known about them I'm here, here in West Virginia, and you know, Bluefield and you know, Kentucky Christian, I've known about those guys a long time so i'm extremely excited just to be a part of you no know, of that conference you know um you know family there and look forward to you know watching these teams compete and uh hopefully you know a couple playoff teams and hopefully making a run you know here for the national championship all right we'll be right there with you coach coach quincy wilson now the new head coach for the rio grand red storm thank you coach for taking time with us today here on midwest sports net anytime and uh go red storm <laughs>